Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and on social media I saw a post from uh, another public figure, like a bit less outreach than I have, but a public figure nonetheless in the uh, fitness and training game online, uh, does some podcast work and stuff. Uh, I happen to actually enjoy the guy's work, a guy named Trevor Johnson there. I don't always agree with him, but the guy is logical, and people who are always logical, I can work with, I can deal with them even if I don't always agree with them, because at least they make sense. Uh, we don't see enough of that in this whole industry these days. But yeah, Trevor made a statement there talking about why uh, we don't see more Jack 40 something and it's because too many bodybuilders see pain as a rite of passage instead of an indication that they're actually injuring themselves and impairing themselves in the long term. So let me put on my plus five cap of weaponsmithing, do a little crafting, get my places in, and I'll talk about that. Yeah, that's fantastic, and it kind of really goes along with a lot of what I've been saying lately, and it's something that I think about a lot. I mean, a lot of you guys have noticed me pushing more and more in this direction. You know what happens, guys, as you get older, you experience different things in life. Uh, your priorities in life start to change a lot, and for me, you know, I'm strong right now. Uh, my joints, tendons, everything are in good shape, and I'm thinking about that more because, you know, 40's coming up on me. I'm going to be 40 in three months, and people can argue all day long about whether they think I'm jacked or not. I don't really give a shit, but by most standards, I'm pretty jacked uh, by the average person's standards, but, you know, I'm not a bodybuilder, so I understand by bodybuilding standards, I might not be. You know, I'm only like 5'9", 240 pounds. You know, that's pretty small considering I'm not ripped by bodybuilding standards. I get that, but, you know... That being said, uh, I think about these things a lot. I think about these things a whole lot. And uh, particularly the longevity end, because I want to be physically active. I mean, I love doing certain physical activities, and I don't want to not be able to enjoy those as I get older. I don't want to be weak. I don't want to be crippled. You know, I already had to walk around with a cane and spent a year in bed sick due to a non-injury, due to an autoimmune-related issue in my inner ears. So, I mean, the last thing I want is to be injured. So I think about these things a whole lot. And he raises a valid point. And you gotta look at a lot of the figures out there. A lot of these guys even promoting stuff on YouTube. Hell, even the thing I did yesterday with uh, Lobster Liner. And, uh, you know, talking about joint pain. I mean, this whole idea of this hardcore mentality of pain is a rite of passage. That that's what makes you hardcore. That it makes uh, you a man in the uh, training world, the hardcore training world, and it's just ridiculous. Uh, pain is an indicator of injury, uh, potentially chronic injury if you're not careful. And chronic injury equals you being less jack. What is manly about ripping something in your body and losing muscle and losing strength? I mean, I'm all for masculinity. I run a lot of very pro-masculinity stuff, particularly on my firearm channel. I'm very big into a return of masculinity, getting rid of this whole gender identity stuff. Um, you know, I have problems with modern feminism, and I make that stuff very clear. But I will ask you a simple question. What is manly about being so stupid that you do stupid stuff that injures your body and makes you lose muscle and strength? And makes your body function less because you have inflamed tendons or damaged tendons, damaged joints. It's manly to lose muscle and strength by being stupid? I don't think so. Manly is about... Uh, being strong, being a leader, being wise, being a mentor, being a mentor to young boys, a teacher, a warrior, philosophers. That's manly. That's my opinion, my definition of what's manly. Um, you feel free to disagree if you want. Doesn't really matter, does it? Because it's my opinion. It's like you have your own. But there's nothing manly about injuring yourself. But that's this idea that it's manly to train till you're injured. No, man, that's just stupidity. That's fucking stupidity. To intentionally hurt yourself because you're too stupid to learn how to train correctly or read some books on physiology or books on training programming. Come on, guys. That's, that's just ignorance. That's stupidity. That's not manly. Being dumb isn't manly. I would hope people don't think that it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> we do a lot of stupid shit when we're young men. And, uh... But yeah, back to the point of the injuries. You see so many guys promoting this. I mean, 
so many guys on YouTube who are always wrapped up and having to wrap everything and they're hurt and they keep trading in the way that they know is injuring them and they put wraps around it. And I see even some people I like. I see Chris Jones do it and I like Chris Jones. That's my boy. Well, sort of, but not really. A little bit. I like Chris, though. Uh, Lobliner. God, how many other guys we see? It's I can't keep up with all these people anymore, but you see so many guys. Uh, Mike Rashid always wrapped up. But yeah, these guys who are using knee sleeves, uh, elbow sleeves, knee wraps, all these different wraps around moving joints because they're hurt and injured and trying to deal with their tendonitis and their joint injuries. And that comes back to the other point that Trevor raised. How many of these guys do you think are still going to be jacked in their 40s? Some of them are jacked in their 30s, early 30s now. How many of them are still going to be jacked in their 40s? How many of you think are still going to be walking around able to deadlift over 500 pounds at all? You know, because there's some even very intelligent people who have snapped themselves up and they really are struggling with their training now because they train stupid and train through injuries and use wraps and sleeves and improper training and don't care and they just fight through it and uh, use band-aid fixes instead of correcting their technique and their methods and their workloads. But uh, again, Lane Norton comes to mind. Uh, perfect example. But yeah, all these guys are getting snapped up. All these guys are getting snapped up and how many of them by the time they reach their 40s are still going to be jacked or are they going to be struggling? A lot of them. A lot of them are going to be struggling. And it's, you see, how many of you guys, you think about it, you younger guys need to think about that. You got your dad or your uncle or your neighbor, that guy you know who tells you stuff like, yeah, I used to be jacked. And he has a total dad bod now. But they'll tell you how they used to be jacked and lift this much weight or that much weight. And you look at them and you don't believe them, but then think about it. Maybe they did. Maybe in their 20s they were kicking ass. Maybe in their 20s they did bench 365. Maybe they had 17 inch arms. But they don't now. They don't now. Why is that? And they always say, well, I hurt my shoulder. I hurt my elbow. I did this. I did that. These injuries. And then they all have some tendonitis or nagging little body part injuries. Maybe they are telling the truth. Maybe they were jacked. So you younger guys need to think about that when you uh, these topics come up. Do you really want to listen to the guys who are already hurt and injured all the time in their 30s? Some of you guys are 18, 20, 22. Do you really want to be like the dad or uncle that you think of that I just mentioned who doesn't, you can't even tell that he lifts at all. You can't tell that he was ever jacked, but he tells you that he was, but he's got injuries. Stop and think about it. If you guys train like these jackasses, that's going to be you. Do you really want that to happen? Do you, I mean, seriously, do you guys really want to put in all this work in your 20s and spend years training, hours in the gym, busting your ass, just to lose everything in your 30s and 40s, to lose all that hard work? I mean, that sucks. Don't do that to yourself. You know what I think? I personally have the belief that if someone puts in consistent work for many years towards a goal, I think that they should reap the rewards of that goal. I think that that's what should happen. I don't think they should lose what they gain. I think that they should reap the rewards of their hard work and their efforts and their labor. That's what I think. And people who injure themselves and get all snapped up, they don't. They lose it all. They lose it as soon as they get too injured to continue training. Well, that's no good. I mean, wouldn't you guys think about it? You're in your 20s now and you're pretty jacked. Wouldn't you like to be just as jacked at 40 as you, as you are at 25? Do you know how rare that would make you? I mean, think about it. Even you guys who are single and you want to do well, the men going my own way thing. You're going to be, if, if you can not hurt yourselves and you can keep this up as a lifetime endeavor, actually training and fitness, you realize that you're going to be in better shape and be bigger and stronger than literally every one of your friends that you have now, all your coworkers, everyone else, and they get up to 40 years old or 45 who you know who are in your age range, they're all going to be completely out of shape with hurting bodies and dad bods, and you're going to be the one who's healthy and fit and you're going to be the one who's drawing looks of, of either admiration or jealousy from other people still. Uh, other dudes are going to be coming up to you at your age going, man, what do you do to stay? They're going to want tips from you. They're going to want advice from you. Um, you know, particularly the other women. I mean, I always tell guys physique doesn't matter that much for attracting women. But when you get older, 
guys who are in good shape in their 40s are rare. So if you guys happen to be single at that time again for whatever reason, you chose to be or divorces or whatever, you're more likely to draw looks from the other, from the women than your contemporaries simply because you've taken care of yourself. Um, and it's not so much that being highly aesthetic is going to help you. It's the fact that you've taken care of yourself. It's not that you look amazing just like that guy takes care of himself. He has his shit together. Women like that. They like a man who has his shit together. Who has a bit of discipline. Who handles his business. Um, just You'll find they're appreciative of that. They respect it. Uh, and the other guys respect it too. The other guys, you know, your coworkers and everything, they're going to respect it. So don't hurt yourself. Don't do what so many of these guys do with these rites of passage of thinking you're supposed to be hurt when you train. No, man. It's not about just killing yourself and destroying your body. It's about consistently putting in work year after year after year without injuries, without needing to wrap up nagging pains. If something hurts, you need to change what you're doing. Change your programming, change your technique, find out what muscle imbalances are causing it, fix it. And then you can be jacked at 40 as long as you can make it without snapping your shit up. That's all it takes. Just make it without snapping your shit up and quit listening to these jackasses and bozos who have three, four, five, six different injuries. They're fucking idiots. They are literally fucking idiots and you shouldn't listen to any advice that they give you unless you want to be snapped up like them and be completely fucked by the time you reach your 40s. That's the only reason to listen to them because you want to be completely fucked. And if you don't want to be, then don't listen to them. They're morons. All right, guys, well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. And I will talk to you guys next time.